to the Building One Story at a Time podcast. We're your hosts. I'm Katie Herbine. And I'm Stephanie Lachance. Today, we're talking about our design studio open house and the experience you get when you come to visit us before you're under contract. And if you decide to come while you are under contract, what you can expect. Yeah, wonderful. So let's kind of get started with what that um, outline looks like when someone comes to an open house. First off, we do ask that everyone registers ahead of time just so we know how many people we are expecting. We do try to limit each time slot just because we do have limited space at the design studio. So for many multiple groups, especially when they're large groups of people, it can be a little cumbersome to move around and for everyone to hear. I think we're allowing four groups per time slot. So the time slots are five to six or six to seven. Yeah. And that group term is a little loose. So if you have a large group that you're bringing along, we would definitely ask that you maybe register two groups because the studio is not that big. And when we're all asking questions and getting all excited about what we're going to talk about, um, it can get a little echoey and a little loud. So if you do have one of those large groups, we would maybe recommend registering two slots so that we don't have um, a ton of other people here, kind of. Absolutely. That's a great point, Katie. <laughs> so once you arrive, we will greet you with a folder, a red folder containing some information. So hopefully when you registered, you were able to tell us which neighborhood you're interested in, uh, maybe even which lot, and especially which home plan. So the home plan uh, is going to be important because we can actually give you some information related to your kitchen layouts in case you have not gotten that yet. Um, and those kitchen layouts are going to tell you like size of cabinetry, where appliances will be located. Uh, and while we do have two sample kitchens here at the studio, we just aren't able to show in person every single kitchen. But our online tools, which we're going to get into in a minute, will be able to give you a lot more information and a visual representation of what your future kitchen might look like. Yeah, great point. So when you get to the studio, we start with a brief tour, just kind of walking through the different galleries and vignettes that we have. So when you first come in, you're kind of in our lobby where there's a couple of comfy chairs. If you get here before your hour time block starts, we'll ask you to wait there or just kind of browse around the studio. But we do like to try to get started on the hour since we'll start with that group tour. But we'll move through our two vignettes. So there are two kitchen vignettes right when you come in the Brookfield showcasing the entertainer package and the Glen Mary showcasing the culinary package. So we do a brief orientation on those two kitchens and then move back back further into the studio into our cabinetry backsplash and countertop gallery. Um, that's kind of the most exciting gallery for the most <laughs> part. It has the most diverse like samples, all the different cabinet colors, all the different different uh options, colors, textures for backsplash, and then those really important countertops. Across from that gallery, we have a, another vignette that showcases some bathroom options, like a tile shower and a five-foot shower, some of those um, vanity options, so really big features in the bathroom is your vanity and the kind of storage that you would like in that vanity. Um, so we have two vignettes that showcase the options that we offer. <clears throat> and then after we move through that vignette, we go back into a flooring gallery. So again, a pretty exciting gallery, the flooring gallery showcasing most of our wood look flooring, some of our ceramic tile flooring, and then some of our trim options like fireplaces. We also have a nice large fireplace display. Across from the fireplace and the flooring gallery is the gallery for our plumbing fixtures and a small vignette that shows the optional luxury shower. So that's like a big design feature for your owner's bathroom if you want that walk-in shower, really luxurious feel. We have that to show here. And then also the soaking tub that's available with the retreat bath package. And if you would like to follow along in kind of Katie's um, uh, audio version of the <laughs> tour of the studio, we do have a Matterport tour of the design studio available online as well. So you can actually find that on our website. Perfect. I was just thinking, I'm really describing this. How are they going to follow along? How do I tie in this awesome plug for the Matterport tour? Absolutely. 
We have a Matterport tour that you can walk through the different vignettes and galleries in the studio at your own pace or as I'm describing them if you wanted to kind of follow along. So on the Matterport and in your mind, (laughs) across from that bathroom gallery, we kind of go into two different directions, one towards the exterior gallery where we have all of our optional and included exterior materials. So your horizontal siding, your accent siding, whether that be vertical board and batten or cedar shake and the stones that are available. And then to the other side of that gallery, we have our trim gallery. So it showcases some of the optional wainscoting we have, the board and batten, or um, what do the HDTV people call it? Oh, shiplap. shiplap. Yeah. Yes, the shiplap <laughs> wall. <laughs> we actually call it nickel gap because hmm. you can put a nickel in between the gaps. Some people are like, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> a very literal interpretation. Exactly. <laughs> It's pretty much sums up the building industry. I feel like things right. are named usually what they are. Exactly. <laughs> um, and then we, have, of course, have the bathroom back there that also shows some cool tile application um, and just some accent colors and stuff like that. So after we do the short tour of the studio, just getting you acquainted with the spaces and maybe some of the types of decisions that you'll encounter as we work our way through the design of your new home. Then we'll show you a couple of the online tools, um, including the virtual tours. If we have a virtual tour of your home plan and you haven't checked it out yet, we can pull it up live time to show you there. Obviously, access to the online catalog, which we recently opened that up now. So before, it was only provided uh, via link directly from someone from EG Salesforce, but now anyone using our web page uh, with email registration can get access to our design catalog, which we keep try to keep up to date with all of the most recent available um, options for your new home. Uh, a couple other online tools, we can pull up the lot map, talk about the orientation of your lot, um, you know, in comparison to the sun. I would say one of the uh, biggest things we're going to focus on in the exterior gallery especially is talking you through the importance of the choice in your elevation for your new home plan. And that is about the one thing that Katie and I cannot modify here at the design Mm -hmm. studio. Um, So you want to really focus on and look at with, um, you know, your co-buyer or your sales agent, like what exterior elements are interacting with each elevation and maybe we could do a whole episode on what those elements are but just kind of pay special attention to which elevation you're picking because once you get here it will kind of limit the type of exterior material that you're able to pick Mm -hmm. specifically for that accent siding and um like your windows shutters etc but great idea to have a whole podcast about it because yeah we could definitely spiral on that right now um We also would give you a brief orientation to our online video tools, some of those things that will maybe limit the amount of talking we have to do during your first appointments so that you maybe kind of have a better understanding of what is included in an entertainer kitchen. How does that differ from the included kitchen or the culinary kitchen? There's a video series on those different types of kitchens, video series on care and cleaning for certain material types. So a lot of good resources in kind of our video encyclopedia uh, on our Design Studio webpage as well. That's a great point. Yeah, you can really ahead of time educate and inform yourself so much now. We have really like empowered our buyers and given them the tools to come with a better understanding of um, what they're going to encounter here. and. Uh, that hopefully allows our buyers to get more of their questions answered ahead of time. Not that we mind answering your questions. Obviously, that's what we're here for. But the in-studio design time, once you're under contract, like your official appointments, that time is so much better spent, um, you know, really nailing into specific samples and maybe color selections and color palettes rather than talking broad and, you know, general uh, related to different material types or layout. Something not to expect at an open house visit (laughs) the ever question what not to expect um pricing very specific pricing we don't have that like locked in our memory bank we it's not that we don't want to give it to you it's just that 
There's so much to remember and different factors that can affect the investment for different materials, um, like specifically the room that you want the flooring in. Those are type of things that are really difficult for us to kind of ballpark because they're specific to each home. Um, but we will definitely give you that all that information when you are in person at your interactive appointment, that first kind of dedicated time block to you specifically. We want to give you all that information. Yeah, we're very flattered that everyone thinks that we have um, tens of thousands of investment levels memorized, <laughs> but unfortunately, we don't. My brain is still not a not yet a computer. So um, <laughs> there are some times where we can snap something that we do often off the top of our heads. But I would say for the most part, we will keep a kind of running list of some of those things that you indicate. And this is really dependent on our ability to do this. If it's a busier open house, we just don't have ability to give like as much one on one time with everybody. Mm -hmm. So the list may fall back onto the visitor in this scenario if, if it's too busy. So either us or you as the visitor will be able to keep a list of some of the like maybe tiers or levels of the items that you're interested in. And then you can go back with your neighborhood sales specialist and they can put together a wish list of some of those items that you're most interested in. I think that's probably the best approach. That way you can kind of come get comfortable with the uh, amount of choice you have because we do have quite a lot of choices to ch to pick from. Uh, for your new home. And I'd say really that's the goal of the open house is to know that, hey, I can get products and I can build a home that I'm comfortable with. Yeah, that's a very good point. It's part of the welcome packet that we give you when you arrive at the design studio for the open house is a guide to show you the different investment levels that our materials fall into. Most of our samples are marked with a sticker that kind of relates to a tier. And we also give you a very detailed list where you can write down all of the different materials that you're interested in, specific countertops, cabinets. It's a pretty good orientation, too, to the types of decisions that you will be asked to make when you are at your first interactive appointment, preliminary decisions at that first appointment, and then final decisions at your selection appointment. Um, but if you are seeing something that you really like, and we don't have time to work with you. Maybe you're just exploring the colors on your own a little bit. Um, write it down on that note and either then send it to us when you are under contract so we can be sure to show you that or have your sales agent put it on a wish list for you so that you can get an investment ahead of time. Uh, and apologies if you mentioned this already, but that uh, worksheet can also be used alongside the online catalog. I did not too. mention that, but that is also a very good point. Yes. If you go home from the open house and you say, oh, I wrote this product down. I don't want to have to Google that. Like, what does that look like? You can go to our catalog and reference maybe the specific name and manufacturer so that you have an easier time Googling it or something like that. Um, so our catalog is a very good reference and tool to use alongside of that guide to personalization or the personalization worksheet. I would say a lot of the buyers who take the time to come and visit us at the studio, too, they end up or I should say shoppers end up becoming buyers. Mm -hmm. Right. So it is such a great tool. We are at this point in time, we are holding them every Wednesday night, five to seven. Uh, now, sometimes we do have personal conflicts that we aren't able to host one. Uh, so always keep a lookout for that registration link, uh, which, again, can be accessed on our website, egstolsfoushomes.com slash design studio. And that will get you at least close enough to find the open house registration uh, link, as well as the link, uh, the email registration form to obtain a copy of our online catalog. Absolutely. Yes, please register. <laughs> we didn't say it enough at the beginning. We'll say it 10 more times. Please <laughs> register. Anything else you want to mention about what to expect or not to expect about a open house visit? Oh, I did want to mention when you are already under contract, maybe you came for your first interactive appointment, but you really feel like you're going to need more time to look at the samples or you want to bring in some friends and family that maybe couldn't come during the business hours that we had to hold your interactive appointment. Register for an open house and bring them to an open house because even though you might not need that full tour of the studio, we can get you set up kind of with the samples that are specific to your home 
Um, generally, we can get you set up with those so that you can show your friends and family what you've chosen, get their feedback, um, and then maybe they can pull some other samples and play with the samples with you um, ahead of or after your appointment time with us so that you have a little bit more sample time. Wonderful. Well, thanks for joining us today, and we hope you listen next time. Register for an open house. (laughs) We'll see you on Wednesdays.